Thanks for joining me here today, everyone. It's Andrew from iDownloadBlog with Sataki's new 4K multiport USB-C hub for MacBooks. It is extremely slim and made out of aluminum casing that comes in four different colors to match Apple's MacBook. So space gray, silver, gold, and rose gold. There are many different USB-C hubs on the market, but very few that actually include 4K support. Sataki also has another line of USB-C adapters that actually sit flush against the MacBook and depending on your take, that could be good or bad. When they sit up right against the side of the MacBook, there is no cord going from the MacBook to the hub, it's simply connected, which means anything that you kind of push pressure on that could really hurt your MacBook, compared to ones that have a slightly little a cable in between that kind of relieves the stress on the MacBook itself. On the side, there is a USB-C port for pass-through charging and two USB 3.0 ports. So you are getting two additional USB ports, pass-through charging, and the HDMI on the end for that 4K support. Obviously, on the other end of the adapter is simply a USB-C cable, which plugs into pretty much just the new MacBook and one or two other computers out there that are slowly starting to adopt the new standard. The HDMI port on this is located right on the end, just to the left of the emblazoned Sataki logo. This makes it one of the most ideal adapters if you have a new MacBook, a fancy 4K monitor, and still want to plug in some additional peripherals and be charging at the same time. If you'd like, you can pick one of these up from Sataki's website or from the link below for around $60. That is not a cheap sum by any means, but considering it's for a 4K monitor, anyone who has a 4K monitor can usually spring for a little bit more to add on that adapter to make sure that it's actually supported. I am interested to know what you guys all think of the USB-C standard. Please let me know down in the comments what your opinions are. Otherwise, please go ahead and subscribe so we can keep making more videos just like this. Otherwise, until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.